Good afternoon, everybody. Let's talk tomatoes. So I came out with my handy dandy notes so we could go over some of the things that we have planted this year. And I can show you how we're doing here in Southeast Louisiana. We went through a month of drought in June with tremendous heat waves. The humidity was <laughs> off the chain, literally off the chain. We also went through basically like a torrential downpour at the beginning of July, what we noticed was we got 10 and a half inches of rain, right, in seven days. And we are heavily mulched, which helped tremendously through the drought. I wasn't having to water, but every three days, I was having no splitting. Everything was developing tomatoes beautifully. And then the water came. So let's talk about some of the things I'm seeing in my garden. And let's see if we can figure out our problems together. Okay, right here, you're seeing early girl. I will probably never plant these again. They just struggled to get started in this clay soil. We are a no-till organic regenerative market garden. We're first year grower, growers on this soil. So we are doing a lot of amending, a lot of worm castings and stuff. These guys just really struggled. Of course, season's not over, so we'll see what happens with that. What you have going on here are super fans. They are growing beautifully. We have lots and lots of flowering going on. However, they did not handle the increase in water well after we had that drought. So let's talk about what's going on here, all right? This is concentric splitting. That happens when you get a lot of rain immediately following a drought nothing you can do guys like i said we are heavily mulched that should have absorbed a lot of that extra water and kept it from sitting around the roots however it still overwhelmed our tomatoes the suggestion for this is go ahead cut it which i'll be doing later today and get these tomatoes off so that they a do not rot or cause any kind of infestation with pest burring into where they're split but that is called concentric so it is very different from radial you'll also notice here i'm missing some tomato plants the reason is my super fans were not <laughs> they did not do well with fungus this year and i lost three in a row with a fungal disease around the root system immediately following the ten and a half inches of rain when we get right up in here you see better boys amazing producers like i said we're completely organic i don't use any commercial uh fertilizers this is worm castings and compost and it's there i mean they're doing great for first year this, this soil is compacted and it was hard they're really hanging in there but again we're seeing a whole lot of that concentric right here which means these plants were y'all these tomatoes were gorgeous and look at this this is why you take them off. You see that little guy right there? Stink bug. I sprayed yesterday in this garden. Come here. With a, uh, ow. Okay, so they, they hurt a little bit when you squish them with your hands. I don't know if that was his feet or what. He didn't like me squishing him though. We, uh, we sprayed out here with garlic. And it really helped this morning, but as the heat comes out and the humidity, I am seeing them again. I might do a little extra spraying with the garlic and let's see what happens. But second type of splitting that you get, you see this, it's starting to split down the plant. That is called radial splitting. That happens when it's too humid and it's too hot. So what I'm seeing on the better boys is they're not handling this heat or the additional water as well as I would have liked them to. So while I plant them again, maybe late fall, late, well, late summer, early spring, so that they're growing out more in the fall and May. Here are your celebrities. They're just not wanting to flower out. A couple of them did, but I will tell you this. They're doing great. I mean, look, we don't have any of the splitting. All right, so these guys absorbed a tremendous amount of water, but I don't have a lot of fruiting going on. So they're probably not handling the heat as well as I would like them to. Now these are the Creole tomatoes. 
they are growing tremendously really healthy plants i am starting to see some new growth and no splitting on that tomato i'm getting some flowering i'll tell you what i do foliar sprays of uh worm tea comfrey garlic kind of a foliar spray guru but again here we go that guys do you see that you see how there's a pest hole right there that is a radial split all right so it had a little bit of difficulty i'm about to break this one off get that to the chickens i'll come back out here with scissors that's really tight i want to get that fruit off and into the chicken coop where i compost immediately to stop any kind of disease infestation these guys have held up really well let's talk about let's talk about this a lot of people are seeing this that is okay guys it is okay what is happening is your plants leaves are curling to slow down its loss of water in this truly hot and humid weather it is not going to affect how your plants flower or produce the heat can affect how your plants are going to flower and produce but the leaf curl should not be a problem unless it is being caused by something else altogether all right so these are the creoles like i said i mean they're they're hanging in there and they're really starting to a couple of them are really kicking in and this group back here these are the beefsteak a lot of leaf curl but they're also younger plants we did not plant all these tomatoes at one time they are a mixture of plants planted at different times so that we would have kind of a multiple harvest because we are a market garden. All right. All right, guys, I did a little research right before I decided to do this video. And LSU suggest Better Boy, Heat Way 2, and Solar Set as your tomatoes that are going to be heat tolerant and are really good at planting in this area of the country at this time of year. We have Creoles seed it up again we'll see how they do they'll probably produce way better for us in the fall but the plants are loving this environment and this clay soil so i will probably stick with the creoles i hope this video helped hope it explained to you a few things there are two types of <laughs> sweat running in my mouth there are two types of um oh look at that sweat two types of <laughs> i'm gonna get this straight in a minute there are two types of splitting concentric around the top and radial with your radial that is the most dangerous most intimidating type that is from heat that is from humidity okay watering's got nothing to do with it you need to get those out of there because bugs will just bore right into it you saw the little hole in the video a second ago on my radial split the second type is concentric okay around the top that is too much water coming out of a drought again not much you can do about it but you can cut those tomatoes bring them on in let them go on and ripen out in your house are they going to have the flavor of a sun ripened tomato on a vine no but it's okay you save the tomatoes you can still have that blt because i know my husband would pass our tomato rows every day and he would go is this is ridiculous when we're going to get tomatoes sam i want a tomato sandwich so bad so i'm doing everything i can to produce tomatoes for my husband aren't we all so you guys have a blessed day go out there put some seeds in the ground keep you to keep your paperwork document document what works for you put some comments in our video section right here let us know what tomatoes in your area of the world are working how did you find that information out what documentation are you keeping it's important guys because opinions are just this it is an opinion if you can't back it up with some paperwork so you've got to have some paperwork. you got to know what you're planting. If you're going to plant that again, or are you just wasting your time and your money? You guys, have a blessed and prosperous day. Coming to you from Starkey Farmstead. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have never had the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or you would just like to renew that vow to Him today, please repeat this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus to come into my heart ask you to forgive me for my sins, wash me clean, 
Renew me, Lord. Restore me and help me be the best person that I can be. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. You guys have a wonderful and blessed day. Go out there in your gardens, your farms, your everyday jobs, whatever it is that you're doing. Be blessed and prosper.